Okay, so I haven't reviewed The Lost Hero, Son of Neptune, or Mark of Athena because my channel started with the House of Hades. So, naturally, I'm going to review them now. <laughs> okay, so let's start with The Lost Hero. when it came out. It is probably still in my t in the lower portion. If I had to rank all 10 of these books from 1 to 10, it'd probably be 5 or below. But that's just because I had low expectations going in. So you gotta know this, I do not like spin-offs. When I was younger, I used to watch Yu-Gi-Oh! all the time, and then they started doing like all these spin-offs. There's like five spin-offs now, and they make absolutely no sense, and they didn't carry on what made the first one so great, I think. And that, to me, that, that portion was the whole mystery of Atima, and how they were just trying to get him back, and this was all happening because of it, and he was the one to cause it all, and that was what... I, like, at least for me, that's what drew, drew me in. And that's what I liked about it, that Egyptian aspect and stuff. So, I don't like spinoffs. But when I read this and realized that, in fact, it was a sequel, because I do like sequels. I don't like spinoffs, but I do like sequels. If it continues the story and does it right. So doing this, yeah, I love it. This, this was awesome. And... Really, like, it was okay. It was, it wasn't, it was still awesome. But as, for Rick Riordan standards, it was okay. It's still amazing, it's still awesome. I did, was, did read it three times, actually. I reread this one, which is good. But just, there are parts that I don't like. There are, there's just those, you know, those, those parts that I just don't like. I honestly did not like... Piper's chapters, Jason's buried, and sometimes Piper had a good chapter, but most of the time I did not like Piper's chapters. Jason's, like I said, varied. Leo. <laughs> it's Leo. I loved every one of his chapters. It was to the point where, like, you know, you, you're you reading along and you're like, I'm gonna be done after this chapter. Oh, Leo's talking next? I want to read Leo. Like that. I would usually stop on either Jason or Piper's chapters, but if it was a Leo chapter, I, like, kept going with it. And don't get me wrong, they did have some good parts and some good chapters, and I did like how it came out in the end, but it just didn't, like, interest me. Like, Piper, I don't know. She She's not one of my favorite characters, really. I still like her. I do not think she's a bad character at all, and I do like her character evolution, and I love that she is not the sit on the sidelines Aphrodite girl. Love that about her. And Jason, well, it's I can't judge him too much because it did get better when he got chapters in, um, you know, the House of Hades. It got better, and I loved it when it got better, but. Ugh. I loved it when he got his chapters in the other series when he had his memory, so I can't judge him too much for not having his memory. And when he got it back at the end, it was he was all dramatic and it was awesome. He is sort of a blonde Percy, but also sort of not a blonde Percy. Leo, oh Leo's hilarious, he had such a sad backstory. Although I was not a big fan of the flashbacks. I get that we needed them to know their journey. 
But did they have to be so long? I'm sorry, they were just like, at certain points, the whole flashback made me forget what was actually going on. I forgot. Like, you know how when you're watching TV and then suddenly the commercials begin and there are so many commercials that you actually stop and go, what was I watching? Because there are just so many commercials. I don't know if that happens to you, but I know that happens to me. It happens to my, my sisters. It happens to, you know, everybody. I think everybody has that moment. But that was what those flashbacks felt like. I still like them and I still remember them. It's not like I forgot about them. I still know what their backstory is. And they were just so long. On the Lost Heroes, the whole story, though, it was good. I like it. It's a, it doesn't need to introduce anything. It's more of leading into the concept of Romans. And I like the hints that it does. And it does build it up very nicely. I do like that it builds it up very nicely. Uh, Faustus the Dragon. Oh, I love Faustus the Dragon. I think everybody loves, everybody loves Faustus the Dragon. Look, he's right there. Everybody loves him. <laughs> Really, so altogether, I like how it went. I like that it continued the story. I liked the quest was pretty good. Eh, still, no one likes Hera. Really, no one does. Really, this series, like, no, no. It starts it off really nicely. I think it gets the plot going, and it's a good read. It's okay. It wasn't bad, and it wasn't good, as in like Rick Riordan standards. Okay. But for this one, it's, it's just okay. I can reread it, and I can still have fun with it. Love the Leo chapters. Pipers are good, just not my favorite. And Jason, I can't fault him too much because he does not have his memory. So when he gets his memory back, then it's more fun because now he's like, oh yeah, like when this happened or when that happened, and those little references are fun and what creates fan fictions. But yeah. It's a great way to start off a sequel series. That's what I'm going to say. It's not bad. It's not good. It's okay by Rick Riordan standards. So that's the last hero for you. We will do the Son of Neptune and the Mark of Athena. Be on the lookout for more character reviews. And we will also be doing a timeline video. So thanks for watching. Bye.